Hey guys, Chlorine King here. I'm out here at a job and uh, the pool was just built about six to eight months ago and the original installer put in a two horsepower blower on a spa that only had four returns, which was way too powerful. Uh, so they asked me to come out and uh, downgrade it. So I installed a one horsepower uh, blower the other day. And so we'll go ahead and turn it on. We'll go over here to the pool. And the bubbles, the blower is causing a little bit too much uh, for their liking. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a way to purge some of the air so it doesn't all go into the spa. It's never recommended to, you know, clog the line or, or cap it in some way. So what we're going to do is create a purge, and I'll show you what we do with that here in one second. So I'm going to go ahead and get to work and then show you what it looks like after it's done. All right, guys, so here it is. We just added a three-way here to help purge some of the air. Never want to restrict the line, but if you can purge some of the air and let less air go into the spa, then this is a uh, thing that's gonna very much help for people that don't like a lot of pressure. So let's go ahead and turn it on. So this is full power here. See it kick off in a second over there at the spa. There you go. So it's pretty much full blast right now. And now as we open this valve up here, pan out real quick, and let some of the air out. If we, for instance, we did the extreme and pretty much closed that off, now it's dead again. So now by turning this, we just find our sweet spot. And that way you can fine tune the pressure that the blower is giving you in the spa. So that is how you get that taken care of. So like and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. Have a great day.